Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Hi, I'm Waldo Cabrera with My Long Island TV. My guest today is Senator Lee Zeldin. He's a candidate to represent New York's first congressional district. Thank you for taking time out to talk to us. It's great to be here. First of all, this is a rematch. Uh, six years ago. What's going to be different this time? Well, a lot is uh, different over the course of the last six years. Uh, at that point, I entered that race. I was 27 years old, a political neophyte, never run a campaign like this before. Uh, and the environment was different. I, th I think there was a lot of uh, Bush fatigue, Iraq war fatigue. Uh, this is the election where the economy fell out uh, towards the end. And for me, I'm, I'm a different candidate after uh, spending some time serving in New York State Senate, getting great experience. We're ready to go. What is it that you haven't been able to do as a senator that you want to do as a congressman? Well, if you're watching everything that's going on in Washington, issues related to our foreign policy, domestic policy, our health care with Obamacare, uh, education with Common Core, um, energy policies, and the impact on our gas prices or our home heating oil costs, uh, there is a lot that every level of government can do to, uh, to, grow, uh, to help grow our economy, create more good-paying private sector jobs. Uh, we also need to secure our border, protect our interests overseas. Uh, on so many different levels, uh, it's important that uh, we, we pay attention and get involved uh, with policies at all level of government. At the top of every voter's list is our jobs and the economy. Uh, there is no single solution that, uh, no, some magic touch where all of a sudden uh, every business's concern is completely addressed across the country. Uh, but we just always have to do whatever we can to move the ball forward. For example, when I was up in Albany, I said I would fight as hard as I could to repeal the MTA payroll tax. We got eliminated for 80% of employers. Um, there was different opportunities that presented themselves that you just, when you, when you identify them, you try to build a strong uh, coalition of support, uh, being willing to work with partners on both sides of the aisle uh, to be able to improve the business climate and create jobs. Uh, down in Washington, there's a lot of policies and regulation, taxes, um, EPA regulations that are causing our businesses to, uh, to, to send their jobs overseas or not, not expand. So uh, it's just important to be uh, part of the debate uh, with a concern for those job creators to make sure we don't make their jobs harder, make them, uh, make them easier so that they can expand. So you've been uh, vocal about our, our problem that we're having in the situation uh, on the border. What do you propose as a solution to that crisis with the Central American uh, uh, kids there? You know, we live in a nation of immigrants. Every one of us have our immigrant story of our families coming here pursuing hope, uh, education, opportunity, wanting a better life for our families. Uh, we have unaccompanied immigrant children who are coming across our southern border, many uh, of whom are actually coming up here to, uh, to Long Island. Um, and the, we, we need to detain them humanely at the border, uh, but they need to be reunited with their families back home, their parents back home. Parents are turning over their kids to coyotes for this dangerous trip to the United States, and they're coming by themselves. So we have border patrol agents who are right now on babysitting duty at certain locations uh, along the border, and we just need to relieve them of that and do what they're trained to do. Uh, any way that, uh, that anyone can get here into America, I think there's a homeland security concern um, especially to see the, this growing threat rise in the Middle East with this uh, entity, this uh, element that makes Al-Qaeda look like Boy Scouts. On to the Affordable uh, Health Care Act. Is there any part of it that can be salvaged? And if not, what would your solution be? There's a, a couple elements like allowing children with pre-existing conditions um, or those uh, children able to stay on their parents' policy until they're 26. Um, that uh, can be positive, but um, you, there's also numerous Republican solutions in bill form. Uh, the incumbent uh, has not yet acknowledged that these bills actually exist, even though that they're at, you can, there are bill numbers assigned to them. 
Uh, and these are different solutions worth debating that allow small businesses to pull policies, to allow the portability of policies across state lines, uh, to encourage many in our Medicaid population who are being underserved through the Medicaid system, uh, to be able to have more private uh, choice, per personal choice, um, with their policies and their coverage for their families. There are people on Medicaid who actually aren't going to work because if they, if they um, accept a particular job, they would result, they would have less, they would lose their Medicaid coverage. You know, that's just, that doesn't make any sense. Senator Lee Zeldin, candidate to represent New York's first congressional district. Thank you for taking time out to speak with me. Appreciate it.